Jim Clark was a builder, a builder of buildings, a builder of a culture, a builder of people. Jim Clark was born in Richmond, uh, moved to the Washington area, came from a very modest background. Jim's passion was building. Till, till the day he died, he was reviewing plans and reviewing techniques. Just loved the business. He was incredibly curious about how things worked and how to make them work better. He always says uh, engineers solve the world's problems. Over Jim Clark's career as a CEO of Clark Construction Company, we built over 2,000 buildings from coast to coast. If you go around Washington, D.C., he shaped this skyline. He's built some signature buildings in the region. But he's a humble person who, if he walked down the hallway, you would walk right past him and know that that was a multi-billionaire that you just passed. While he accomplished a great deal during his career and, and left a, a lasting legacy, it was never about Jim. They were able to discern and decipher where there were needs, and then their own quiet, simple way could make a big difference. When he said, you need to work hard, and you need to give back to your community, and you need to always have honor and integrity. We almost saw that more than we heard it. He could never understand people who had the resources and had built success and didn't want to take care of their communities. Jim believed in lots of different causes. Uh, the primary one, I would think, would be education. He, he did not have the means to pay for an education and that made a huge impact on him. When my father received the scholarship at the University of Maryland, he realized someone else was investing in his future. I think Mr. Clark's legacy will live on um, through his commitment to access and affordability uh, through his scholarships. The idea was not to just provide um, financial resources to the students, but also provide a very special uh, program to try and promote those values that Mr. Clark cared about. Being a Clark Scholar is the best opportunity I could have ever asked for. They put me in a better position to be able to attend my dream school that I didn't even think I'd be able to attend given being accepted or financially. The way he saw everything that he did in his philanthropy was that he makes investment in people. I think as he got older, he enjoyed creating opportunities even more than he enjoyed creating buildings. My father's values really formed the basis and the pillars for the foundation and the work that we do now. The type of investments made by the Clark Foundation are general operating, um, multi-year, which allow nonprofits to think broadly about their needs, both internal infrastructure and programmatic. We have some specific things we need money for. We also have basically what I call basically keeping the lights on. Doesn't sound very sexy, but it's, 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 it's pretty important. There's so much to celebrate about the Clark Foundation's commitment to this community. From their deep investments in student success across the region, but especially at the University of Maryland, to the broad number of investments in nonprofits across our region. In many ways, the Clark Foundation's approach to local philanthropy mirrors the vision of the Community Foundation. To build thriving communities and to ensure that every person has an opportunity to succeed. Those of us who knew him well learned firsthand about his values. Each of us have incorporated into our lives those values uh, that we learned from Jim, and each of us have become better people because of it.